Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel, hope you all had a great week. This is just a short little video uh, because I don't know if you remember this project I did a few weeks ago. I had someone message me the other day asking to show how I cast the blank. So um, unfortunately I haven't got no more of that wool and I didn't video me casting it so I can't just edit the video and stick it on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is, I've been and got this wool, I found this in a cheap jack shop the other day, which is um, just multi strands of, multi coloured strands of wool. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show how I cast it, the same way, but using this wool. Then what I'll do in a few weeks time, I will then show me turning this into a finished project. So what I'm going to do is, I'll move the camera over to the bench, and then I'll go through the process which I did exactly the same way just different wall with the uh, that finished project so uh, let's go to the bench right so we've got a wall so all I did with the other one was um, I just unstranded it and then just crinkled it all up so we can find the end of this one and then I just crinkled it all up and wrapped it in the um, in the bowl so I'll do exactly the same with this one so just unwind off the reel, depending on how much you're going to use is depending on obviously the quantity of wool you want in your blank and the other thing is with the other wool it was quite a big chunky wool, piece of wool um, so it was like not single threaded like this it was, it was a bit like crocheted wool to be honest and it was quite strange that's what attracted me to it when I saw it. So obviously with this this is all single strands so <clears throat> this is obviously going to be slightly different but what I'm hoping with this one is because it's all multicolored we're going to get loads of different colors in the in the mold so depending on how much you want and depending on how you want it it's just a case of getting it in your mold that's obviously not enough so it depends on you really how much cotton or how much wool you want in the in the blank I try and get quite a bit in um, the reason being is because obviously the resins clear and you want as much color in the blank as possible so um, that's my thinking anyway but whether you know it's down to you guys what you want to do with it And don't forget, when you add resin, it's going to sink anyway. So it's going to it's going to go more um, compact with the resin. So you need more. The the blank actually needs to be overflowing. <clears throat> So, thing I'll do. So we'll get that in our blank. We can always add a little bit more once the resin's in if we need to. All right, so we've got our multi colours now. So then that's obviously your resin. And what I do, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do. I believe these take about a kilo of resin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one just clear, then the other one I'm going to add some glitter to it. So I'll pour the clear one on first, and then the second one I have the glitter on it, and then that will then sink throughout and then attach itself to the cotton or the wool. That's what I did on the last one anyway. So uh, let's get some resin mixed up. So don't forget your PPE when you're using resin a good vapour mask and safety glasses so I'll see you on the other side because you have to have the hair me Yeah. <laughs> 
<coughs> mix your resin. I mix my resin for four minutes. Four minutes. Right, I'm going to talk to you because uh, I know I shouldn't use it without a mask, but I have. You must use a mask when you're using resin. Anyway, what I've done is I've put two lots of um, glitter in there. I've put rose gold and also shimmering uh, rose gold and holographic gold in that one. But because the resin's quite cold, I'm just going to warm up a little bit with the heat gun. Because um, if it doesn't, if it don't, that's not going to flow very well. I'm just gently going to heat it with a heat gun just to get a little bit of temperature back in the resin. That's better. It's not so stiff on the stick now. Right, so I'm going to pour the clear over first. Let's move the scales out of the way. So I'm going to pour the clear over first, and like I say, that will push the wool down. And you can always add more wool if you need to. So what I try and do is I try and lift the wool up. So now, get that one over the top. So if you poke and prod it, it will come to the top a little bit. And also that will move the, the um, glitter about as well. Because you don't want all the glitter on the top, you want it within the um, do free, within the cast. So, that's about it. Now you can put it in a pressure pot, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently heat it just to bring the air to the top and then I'm going to show that you don't have to have a pressure pot to cast um, ideally yes it goes in the pressure pot but you can cast I've done several castings and I haven't put them in the pressure pot um, so hopefully this one will come out okay so I'm, going to, I'm just going to gently heat it and then we'll leave it overnight and come back to it and check it tomorrow
So we'll leave that till the morning. Right, so there you go, there's the blank. It's been cast about 18 hours now. Um, so it's still a little bit tacky because I didn't put, I never put the full amount of catalyst in. I always put about three quarters of the catalyst in, which um, stops it being so brittle and it doesn't shrink so much as well. So that's a benefit. Um, obviously, everybody has to try their own way. Everybody likes to do things differently. So this is just the way that I do it. But it's drying off quite nice. If you hold it up to the light, you can see the wall colours through there, which is quite cool. Um, obviously, the middle looks a mass. But if you look through there, you can actually see some of the colours through the resin. But like I say, you're not really going to see what you've got until you've actually turned it. So, um, so anyway... I hope this helps and like i said from the start this has been cast exactly the same way as i did the other one same resin same glitter and uh, just different wool so keep your eyes open for the next few weeks this i will turn this into a project and i may add this video to the beginning of the other video just so people know how to make it so anyway guys i hope it helps so thank you very much for watching take care speak to you soon and bye for now